how to calculate lost size on gold. Hey guys, in this video, I will show you two simple methods on how to calculate lost size on gold. Make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know exactly when we release. The important fact you need to know, you don't need to risk more than 1-2% to of your trading account on each trade. And also, the larger your loss size is, the higher the profit or loss could be and therefore the higher the risk. Risk management is the king when you come to longevity in trading. For the fact that you need to maintain a fixed risk for all trade, and that's why you need to learn how to calculate the appropriate loss size for every trade because stop loss level varies based on trade. Now, the first method is online calculator. So we are using the myfxbook.com online calculator. So the first thing you need to do is to head on to your chart and determine the stop loss level. Now, we are gonna use these two trade, for instance, to illustrate our points. The first trade here has a higher stop loss, while the second one has a smaller stop loss. All right, so our aim here is to ensure that irrespective of the level of the stop loss, we are risking just 2% of the account. To determine this point level, you just need to click on this measuring tool. I'll be able to take it from the beginning of the stop loss to where it stopped. All right, so that's how you get the, the points. So once you're able to determine your point, you head on to the first method, you head on to myfsbook.com. So here, you will have the calculator in front of you. So once you have the calculator, enter the parameter. The trading account is 2,000. The risk is two. And the points which you have determined to be what? 2,899. So once you hit that, the trade size lot defaultly will load 0 0.001. You don't need to alter it. Just leave it what it is and click on calculate. So once you click on calculate, you can see the results. The money will lose when if the trade goes against us will be $40 and the lot size that we're going to use for that will be 0 0.01. That is just for the first trade. Now, if you're taking this second trade, you can see that I have a very tight stop loss. Now, the point here is 777. Now, the same thing applies here. If you come here and you feed it, just change the point. 777 the pin point calculates to give us 0 0.05 so you can see we are risking the same amount of money irrespective that the lot the stop loss is tight and the potential gain you know will be higher anyway so that's just the first formula then the second formula we are using which is preferred to me is we use the loss size formula the loss size formula is loss size is equal to account size times percentage risk over P points. Now, the account size is the amount of the equity you have by times the percentage risk, like we are risking 2% here and over the P points. So, if you are taking the first example we use here, the first trade we use here, then it will not be. Okay. 2,000 times 2 over 100, which is 0 0.02 over 2899, which is still 0 0.01. You can see it's the same thing with that online calculator. And also for the second trade, 2,000 times 2 over 100, all over 777, which is 0 0.05. You can see it's the same thing with online calculator. Personally, I prefer to use this formula because it's easy for me. Assuming here, we want to take a sell position. Assuming at this point, we're expecting that the market from this point to start declining. And if you measure the stop loss, take the measuring tool and measure our stop loss from here to here. It's giving us 815 points. So with this, I don't even need to think much. All we need to do is to pull out our calculator Pull out, pull out your calculator here. So I already know that uh, 2,000 is my account size times the 2 over 200 is 0 0.02 is equals to 40 divided by 815, which will give you what? 0 0.049, approximately 0 0.05. So you can see with the formula, um, uh, it, it makes things easier for you, you know, 
where anywhere you are, you can just pull out your calculator and punch in your data and you, be, you are good to go. All right, guys. So thank you so much for your time. I believe you have gained value from this. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and click on the description bell for you not to miss out on valuable contents we'll be releasing soon.